Autumn provides ideal conditions for crops to reach optimal ripeness. It is also a perfect time for harvest festivals and community gatherings. The cooler temperatures and changing foliage create a beautiful backdrop for celebrating the bounty of the season. Plus, it's an opportunity to enjoy seasonal flavors, from apples to pumpkins, and to prepare for the winter months ahead. What are your favorite autumn activities? Autumn is indeed a crucial time for American farmers to harvest and process agricultural products, including pomegranates. These fruits typically ripen in late fall, making the harvest season especially important. Farmers carefully monitor their pomegranate crops to ensure they are picked at the right time for optimal sweetness and juiciness. Once harvested, the pomegranates can be processed for juice, used in culinary dishes, or packaged for fresh sale. This season also allows farmers to celebrate their hard work and the flavors of their crops, contributing to local markets and economies. Are you interested in how pomegranates are used in recipes or their health benefits? Pomegranates thrive in warm climates, with the ideal temperature range for growth typically between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. They require full sun and well-drained soil to flourish. In these conditions, pomegranates can produce vibrant fruit with their characteristic sweet tart flavor. Additionally, they are quite drought tolerant once established, making them suitable for arid regions. When conditions reach 35 degrees Celsius 95 degrees Fahrenheit and remain hot and dry during the fruit's growth phase, pomegranates can still thrive, as they are well adapted to such climates. The heat helps concentrate the sugars in the fruit, enhancing its flavor. However, proper irrigation is crucial during these hotter periods to ensure the plants receive adequate moisture without overwatering. Regular irrigation is indeed necessary to achieve the highest yields of pomegranates in the United States, especially in drier regions. Consistent moisture helps prevent stress on the plants and ensures healthy fruit development. Drip irrigation is often preferred as it efficiently delivers water directly to the roots while minimizing evaporation. This method not only supports optimal growth but also conserves water resources. The United States produces around 500,000 tons of pomegranates with significant exports to countries such as Canada, South Korea, and Japan. This export market highlights the global demand for pomegranates, known for their health benefits and unique flavor. India is also a major player in pomegranate production, often exporting large quantities as well. India is indeed a country with a highly developed pomegranate industry, harvesting over 800,000 tons annually. The country is known for its diverse varieties and plays a significant role in global pomegranate production. Indian pomegranates are often sought after for their quality, vibrant color, and flavor, making them popular both domestically and in international markets. Additionally, India is a major exporter of pomegranates, with its fruits widely distributed across European markets. The country's pomegranates are valued for their taste and quality, making them the size of pomegranates is closely related to temperature conditions during their growth. Low temperatures can prevent proper fruit formation, leading to smaller fruit sizes. Ideal warm temperatures during the flowering and fruit setting stages promote optimal growth, while excessive heat can also stress the plants, affecting size and quality. Proper management of growing conditions, including irrigation and protection from extreme weather, is crucial for achieving the best fruit size and yield. If you're interested in more details about how climate impacts pomegranate growth or cultivation techniques, feel free to ask. The number of fruits on a pomegranate tree, or the crop load, is usually adjusted through manual thinning within about 45 days after flowering. This practice helps ensure that the remaining fruits receive adequate nutrients and space to grow, leading to larger and higher quality pomegranates. Thinning involves selectively removing some of the smaller or less healthy fruits, which can improve overall yield and fruit size. Peach pickers walk through the orchards hand picking the ripest, firmest peaches, ensuring that only the best quality fruit is harvested. This careful selection process is crucial because peaches continue to ripen after being picked, and harvesting them at the right stage ensures optimal flavor and texture. The hands-on approach allows pickers to assess each fruit individually, avoiding overripe or damaged peaches. This method also helps maintain the integrity of the trees and the overall health of the orchard. 
However, they strive to harvest the peaches before birds and small mammals have a chance to peck at or damage the fruit. Timely harvesting is essential to minimize losses and ensure the quality of the peaches. Farmers often monitor the orchards closely, using various techniques to deter wildlife, such as netting or nosemakers, to protect their crops until they can be harvested. Leaves and debris are removed from the field, and then the peaches are sorted by size and quality on the conveyor belt. Substandard peaches, which may be overripe, damaged, or not meeting market standards, are typically separated for alternative uses, such as processing into jams or sauces, while the best quality peaches are packaged for fresh sale. This conveyor belt can move around 70,000 pounds of peaches per hour, streamlining the processing and packing operation. Workers begin by removing peaches from the ticking bins, placing them onto the conveyor, where they are sorted for quality. This efficient system helps maintain freshness and speeds up the journey from orchard to market. The peaches are soaked in a sugar solution of water for preservation and to enhance their flavor. This method helps to draw out excess moisture, which can extend shelf life while also creating a sweetened product that is more appealing to consumers. This process it is commonly used for canned peaches or those prepared for freezing, ensuring they retain their taste and texture. Then, the peach slices are placed in a tin box with the soaking solution, which helps enhance the flavor and preserves the fruit. This solution typically consists of sugar, water, and sometimes added citric acid to maintain color and freshness. Once sealed, the tins create an airtight environment, ensuring the peaches remain flavorful and safe for storage. California and Michigan are major production areas for peaches, with tens of thousands of acres dedicated to peach orchards. California, in particular, leads in volume and variety, benefiting from its warm climate and long growing season. Michigan also produces high-quality peaches, especially known for its juicy varieties, thanks to its favorable conditions during the summer months. Chestnuts begin to ripen from late September to early November, when the nuts fall from the trees and their husks split open. This is the optimal time for harvesting, as the chestnuts are at their best in terms of flavor and texture. Farmers typically monitor the trees closely during this period to ensure they collect the chestnuts promptly, minimizing losses from wildlife and ensuring quality. When the husk turns brown and separates from the tree, it indicates that the chestnuts are ready for harvest. This visual cue helps farmers determine the right time to collect the nuts, ensuring they are ripe and flavorful. Harvesting usually involves shaking the trees or using specialized tools to gather the fallen nuts, which are then cleaned and sorted for sale. Manual chestnut harvesting typically occurs when the chestnuts have ripened and fallen naturally from the trees. Farmers often wait for this natural drop, as it ensures the nuts are fully mature. Once on the ground, workers gather the chestnuts, often using rakes or other tools to help collect them efficiently. This method minimizes damage to the nuts and preserves their quality. Chestnut harvesting requires the farmer's meticulousness and patience, as they must carefully monitor the trees and wait for the optimal time for collection. This attention to detail is essential to ensure that the nuts are harvested at peak ripeness, which directly affects their flavor and quality. Farmers often go through the orchards multiple times to gather all the fallen chestnuts, ensuring nothing is left behind. The humble banana, a staple in countless diets worldwide, has a complex journey from farm to table. It begins in tropical and subtropical regions, where banana plants thrive in warm climates. Once harvested, bananas undergo careful handling to prevent bruising and damage. After being picked, they are typically transported to packing facilities, where they are sorted and packaged for distribution. Most bananas are shipped while still green, allowing them to ripen naturally during transit and at their destination. This journey involves various logistical challenges, including temperature control and timing to ensure they reach consumers at the perfect ripeness. As dawn breaks while many are still fast asleep, these farmers are already tending to their banana plantations. 
With a commitment to sustainable practices, they carefully monitor the growth of their plants, which can live for over a century, providing fruit for many years. Early mornings are crucial for watering, inspecting for pests, and ensuring the health of the plants before the heat of the day sets in. This dedicated routine reflects their deep connection to the land and the importance of bananas in their livelihoods. If you'd like to know more about the farming techniques or challenges they face, just let me know. Already deep into the sugar palm groves, climbing these towering trees is no easy feat to reach the sweet sap. Farmers use skillful techniques and specialized tools to ascend the tall trunks safely. Once at the top, they tap the flowers to collect the sap, which can be transformed into sugar or syrup. At the top, these skilled harvesters use long, sturdy bamboo poles with notches cut into them, serving as footholds to help them climb the trees. Once they reach the flowering clusters, they carefully tap into the blossoms to collect the sap. The notches provide grip and stability, allowing them to work safely and efficiently. As makeshift ladders, in some regions, they employ a more daring technique, wrapping a thick rope around the trunk of the tree. This method allows them to climb higher by securing themselves to the tree, stay ascent. The rope provides both stability and safety, enabling harvesters to reach the sap-producing flowers at the top. In a productive region, the process yields an impressive 12 tons of sugar per day. By morning, the containers placed at the base of the trees are filled with the freshly collected sap. This sap is then processed to create sugar, syrup, or other sweeteners, highlighting the efficiency and abundance of the harvest. Gathering over 300 liters per day, this sap can turn sour pretty quickly so farmers prevent this by refrigerating it or processing it immediately. Quick handling is essential to maintain its freshness and flavor, as the sap can ferment rapidly if left untreated. Either putting a piece of this herb or applying a lime coating inside, this farmer is straining the sap to prevent souring. These methods help to inhibit fermentation, keeping the sap fresh for longer. The herb acts as a natural preservative, while the lime coating creates an alkaline environment that slows down spoilage.